Welcome to this uh, segment which uh, talks about other considerations in uh, DC or DC converters. So here we'll look at some other DC or DC converters uh, with uh, non-isolated topologies and uh, we'll also look at some uh, discussion on uh, topology selection and worst case design. So uh, when it comes to a to boost converters, uh, one of the alternatives is to use this uh, SAPIC converter. Uh, we will not go into a detailed discussion of it, but to say that uh, the voltage transfer ratio is very similar to a, a buck boost converter. And uh, the advantage here is the, the input voltage polarity and the output voltage polarity are the same. Okay. Uh, Another alternative to buck boost, uh, in buck boost converter, is to use a chuck converter. And here, uh, as you can see, the voltage transfer ratio is again very similar to a buck boost. And uh, we use this uh, capacitor as the power transfer mechanism here. And, uh, uh, you know, it has uh, certain advantages, uh, but the disadvantage here is that. Uh, is very similar to a buck boost converter that uh, the input and output voltage polarities are, are reversed. Uh, then we have uh, synchronous rectified uh, buck converters for very low output voltages. Uh, as we saw earlier, uh, in a buck converter, we have a transistor here and a diode over here. Uh, well, when this diode is conducting, it has a finite... Uh, voltage drop, but uh, if we can replace this diode uh, here by another MOSFET, as shown over here, then it is possible to uh, make this uh, voltage drop and therefore very small and therefore achieve uh, much higher efficiencies here. So that's the idea here in uh, uh, the synchronous rectified buck converters, where these two transistors are operated by complementary gate signals, which are plotted over here. So basically what we are doing is when uh, we turn on the top transistor, this inductor current flows through here, and uh, when it's time to turn off this transistor, we gate the, the bottom transistor, and this inductor current then freewheels through here. And uh, therefore, we avoid, we get, uh, we do not have the the finite uh, on voltage on voltage state drop of the diode. Rather, we can make uh, the the drop much smaller by having a low voltage transistor MOSFET, which has a very low on state resistance. Otherwise, the waveforms are very similar to that in a buck converter. And then we can also use interleaving of converters. So here you see that. Uh, uh, there are two converter stages here, uh, and uh, these two transistors are operated by uh, logic signals, uh, uh, the gate signals Q1 and Q2, and uh, uh, so both these currents, IL1 and IL2, would have ripple, but uh, that ripple would uh, cancel when it comes to the output stage. So that's the idea behind these uh, interleaved converters here. So we have uh, uh, different uh, characteristics associated with uh, uh, these uh, three converters that we have discussed. Uh, the bottom line here is that uh, if uh, our objective is always to get an output voltage that is uh, lower than the input, we should use buck. If our objective is to get an output voltage which is always greater than the input, then we should use boost. And only when we need to have either higher or lower than the input voltage, then we should use buck boost. Otherwise, we are paying unnecessary penalties, uh, as this table here would show. <clears throat> then also, we should be ready for a worst case design, uh, as listed here, because any converter would go into a discontinuous conduction mode if the 
if the load across it keeps falling. So we should be cognizant of that fact. <clears throat> and uh, we can very easily control uh, these converters. Uh, integrated circuits are available. Essentially, uh, in these integrated circuits, there's a ramp voltage, sawtooth voltage shown here, and it is compared with a control signal. And uh, when the control signal is higher than this ramp voltage, the, the transistor is, uh, is to be gated on. Otherwise, it's to be gated off here. So we can get this uh, a duty ratio or duty cycle, which is essentially the ratio of this control voltage, which we can adjust, uh, divide by the peak of this uh, sawtooth waveform, which generally stays constant. So uh, in this uh, segment, we looked at some other considerations in terms of other DC or DC converters. We talked about the topology selection, and also we looked at the uh, worst case worst case design thank you